Welcome to Let's Play Ratchet Clank Going Commando, I'm Nye, and this episode is going to be a very long one about finding 88 different crystals. I anticipate most of it being chipmunked. So some post commentary here, uh, you're going to see me running around the map, I'm going to start working on the right hand side and work my way counterclockwise around, uh, that's how I would suggest doing it. Uh, I do sort of this exact pattern, up, down, up, 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 down. Uh, you can also work along your edges and switch your way in. I'm seeing you repeatedly looking at my map, uh, checking to see exactly where everything is. Uh, I'm just checking to see what ground I've already covered. Honestly, this is pretty easy. Uh, you'll see me just go very, very right fast. Whoa, dude, dinner in a movie first. The weapon you want modified, put it in the slot. Oh, I get it. You make weapon modifications. Yep, I can take your puny little weapon, and with a few, uh, tweaks, I can turn it into a powerful piece of equipment. That's what she said. Look, you want me to hook you up or what? I can't hang around here all day. So this is another thing Slim Cognito does. He will add some sort of mod to any of our weapons in exchange for the platinum we've been capturing. Uh, gives us a lot of really good stuff. Shock mods for the Mega Turret, so it does shock damage as it hits. Lock on mods for the Heavy Lancer, so it locks on better and uh, faster and further, so on and so forth. Great way to uh, upgrade weapons, but it only works on weapons that have already uh, leveled up. So keep that in mind. And some weapons, like the Kilonoids, which we'll see later, actually never do seem to uh, get some bonus at all. If you look right here, we got the Magna uh, trail thing. There's a vehicle on top. That vehicle is going to be very useful later on for Raritania. I should have used that vehicle for this entire thing. But, um, I want to do it on foot. Because I'm a masochist like that. As I run around, I'm going to be seeing a lot of enemies are going to pop up. A lot of those little lizard things are going to pop up around each individual crystal. Just great things to kill. Get a lot of money. Uh, the flies are not really any real, uh, difficulty. The big guys that pop out of the ground, uh, as you may have noticed already, contain one crystal each. So you do have to kill them. Uh, but as you'll see me do over and over and over, uh, just one sniper rifle bullet will take them out, or uh, five seeker, uh, seeker shots. Keep in mind, you do have to have the vaporizer to get that much damage on these things. So, you know, makes that kind of easy. Uh, I was just having to kill a noise, because as you can see, they're covering my back pretty darn well. And then, you know, just watch me as I watch my map. I'm just going up, down, up, down, up, down. Every time I'm, uh, you know, every time I get a crystal, I kind of check my map, see where the next empty space is on my map that I haven't checked so far. And that's how I find everything. Along with healthy dose of really kind of somewhat knowing where I, where I am, what I'm doing. Uh, something that's kind of interesting is that the draw distance on the PS3 version of the game was increased. So I'm actually seeing things from further away than I would have been on the PS2. This was a little bit more of a bear on the PS2 because you couldn't see the crystals from as far away as I can see them now. And you also couldn't see the uh, bones for the flying thing in the jigs. Getting plenty of ammo. Plenty of health for that stuff. Every so often you'll usually find either one crystal by itself or a crystal and a flying thing. Every so often you'll find one of these alternate deals. This right here, uh, when my camera swings around, on top of this hill is the final platinum bolt for the level, uh, upper uh, right hand corner of the map, northeastern side, on top of the hill. Takes a little while to find. But rather easy, not guarded by anything. Go ahead and snag it. And this was the absolute longest segment with absolutely nothing happening. Uh, I already found the platinum bolt, you know, got, uh, got some cognito, but there wasn't much going on here. Just a big, giant, empty, screw-around space up top. And I didn't talk about it before, uh, that I recall. The mini turrets upgrade to the mega turrets way back there, uh, now they, uh, make missiles happen, which is kind of cool. Uh, they're nice and powerful. Uh, they are still kind of slow to lock on, though, so you're gonna want to drop them, uh, in force. Also be aware, uh, when you're trying to use the Vaporizer to kill these guys, uh, the Vaporizer does have a slight lag between aiming and actually getting your red from being able to shoot, so be aware of that when the uh, big things shoot their lasers out. 
And I'm just shooting all sorts of things everywhere. If you ever run out of ammo, you know, just run right back to the main base. You'll see me do that at least once. Uh, lots of ammo right there within easy walking distance. Crystals usually take four hits, but if you do a uh, overhead smash, they will take three instead. They are affected by weapon damage, so you know, you'll see me using the uh, shock cannon to blow them up. Makes things just a little bit faster. Because this takes, honestly, way too long. It takes about a year too long. Okay, look. Ammo collection. Still can't afford that uh, lock gun, though. It's a shame. A lot of guns nice. Still no Once again. There are enough landmarks around here for you to be able to uh, pretty easily see where everything is and uh, not get lost, even if you, you know, even if you're not using your map. Would recommend using the map, though. This was me trying to level up the Seeker uh, missiles. Problem is, the Seeker gun does not do a lot of damage, and it has a very high experience cap rate. Uh, it only takes five Seeker missiles, or only, yeah, only. Only takes five Seeker missiles to kill one of the flying things, but you'll see me do it several times, and my experience meter barely moves. I'm not really sure what's up with that. And the Seeker gun, it's just, it's obviously not better weapons I can be upgrading. There's also great things to spawn, because there's, just, there's enemies everywhere. They spawn just randomly everywhere. You don't have to get a spawner, you don't have to walk. And with this kill, our uh, synthenoids level up to uh, kilonoids. Absolutely fantastic. Does more damage, fires faster, a little bit more health for good stuff. We're getting down to the last couple of uh, crystals here. Got another little catch pool. Got those guardians. You know, that was difficult. I kind of feel like they got they ran out of ideas for us. They they couldn't think of anything you know extra to put down. They couldn't think of any new enemy types. They couldn't think of. They said, "Let's do a gigantic screw off fetch quest for anybody who has too much time on their hands and needs money." Big things have, I mean, they're cool. They have an interesting attack pattern. And they do take a decent amount of hits unless you have the, uh, you have the vaporizer, which I have. So, you know. And during the last one here, I have another one of these two guardians. And this is about it. I'm at 86. I'm actually kind of getting, not desperate, but I was kind of curious if I'm going to find the last one if I had already found it earlier. And here we are. And with this crystal, that makes 88 out of 88 crystals, uh, plus the 12 we got earlier, that's 100 of 100. Uh, that is the skill point for Heal Your Chi. We're also going to get 88,000 uh, bolts off of that. Just range over the map, cover areas you haven't covered before, and uh, later on I'll show you the vehicle. Uh, use the vehicle, and that will make sure that you get exactly what you're looking for. This is also a great place to level up your weapons, as you've seen me doing. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have uh, really any kind of level up right now, and the Seekers have too much experience requirement to actually level up here. But, great way to get that taken care of as well. Just keep in mind, it's very, very big. takes a while. Uh, this, I, I kind of knew what I was doing. I didn't have a map or anything, but I did have an idea of how to set things up. So, uh, this took me about half an hour to find everything. So, you know, time constraints. I actually knew what I was looking for. So, uh, that's about it. This is me. I'm actually going back to uh, snag uh, Slim Cognito again because the Kilonoids leveled up. I wanted to see if he had something else to give me. And uh, he's not. We'll see that in just a second. So, as I said, uh, some weapons and their upgrades never get the uh, Platinum Bolt upgrade. If you want to summon Slim Cognito, all you have to do is find this sort of triangular shaped stick that I'm about to, there you go, I'm about to uh, stumble across. That's all you gotta do. Press button, get vendor. Easy as possible.
Okay, guys, that is all 88 crystals that I had not gotten yet, plus the 12 I have gotten already equals 100. You saw the skill point hit earlier, and so that means this planet's complete. That also means that I can afford the bouncer. Awesome. You guys will get to see what this does in the next episode. I'll see you guys soon.